Hi everyone, welcome to COVID Cooking. Uh, it's a new LSU TV special during quarantine. I'm going to be making cookies today because obviously if there's anything you can do during quarantine, it is make many cookies and then eat your weight in cookies every single day. So we're going to start obviously by preheating the oven. If you've got a fan assisted oven, it's 170 degrees centigrade. If you don't have a fan assisted, it's 190 degrees. So first of all, you're going to need your butter. It is 225 grams. Um, I have got a electronic scale just because that makes it really nice and easy. I can put the um, bowl on it. 225, beautiful. What I'm then going to do is pop this in the microwave only for about 20 seconds just to make sure that this kind of melts down ever so slightly so that I can whisk it easier. And then what I'm just going to do is just make, mix it up. So once you've got this to a reasonably smooth consistency, you then want to add 110 grams of caster sugar. You then want to mix in your sugar so that it's nice and mixed with the butter. Once that's then mixed in, you want to add 275 grams of plain flour. You want to just sieve it into the bowl, try and get as much of it in the bowl as you possibly can. Um, you then want to fold in the flour uh, to make sure that you don't get rid of the air that you've just beaten into the previous mix. Um, so it's starting to come together, which is at this point, um, you get your hands involved because it's just much more fun. However, I'm going to add chocolate because I love chocolate. If you can't quite get it into the small bits that you want, um, do get a knife and just chop it into small pieces and then you'll be able to pop it into the recipe. Generally, I think this makes about 15 cookies. So now you've got them all laid out on the tray, they're obviously now ready to go in the oven. They need to go in for about 12 to 15 minutes. Um, and I also take them out just to kind of turn them around, especially if you don't have a fan assisted oven, um, just to make sure they're all cooking evenly. So obviously once they have cooled down, um, you can then break into them, eat as many as you want. <laughs> I tend to have about five in one go as soon as they're out of the oven. Um, but they're ready to go and you can eat them while they're warm um, or obviously save them for the rest of the week. Hi everyone, welcome to episode three of COVID Cooking. Today we're going to do a little bit of a twist and do some crumble. So first of all, you are going to need to combine 225 grams of flour and 110 grams of butter. Um, obviously crumble, you can do it in any different sizes, so if you just need to add more at a later point in the recipe, go ahead. The best way to combine this is with your hands, so just get straight in there. Once you have a nice light crumb, uh, you then want to add 75 grams of golden caster sugar, which is different from normal caster sugar, um, and then mix it until it's fully combined. You then want to set aside your mixture and turn your oven to 180 or 170 if you have a fan oven. Once you have put the oven on, you then want to get your fruit ready. So you need about four apples and 200 grams of blackberries and mix that in with about 100 grams of sugar. Once your fruit is completely covered in the sugar, you then want to scatter the crumble over top. Once you've fully leveled out the crumble on top, you then want to add a couple of tablespoons of demerara sugar. Okay, so that is now ready for the oven. You want to put it in for about 45 minutes or until it's golden and bubbling. So the 45 minutes is now up. We're going to take it out and have a look and see how it looks.
So this is a super easy dessert to make. Uh, you can make it as you're making your dinner and it will be ready for when you've had dinner and you can have it for dessert. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of COVID Cooking. Today we're going to be doing a really easy recipe to do in between exam study um, and we're going to be making flapjacks. So you want to start with 250 grams of porridge oats, 125 grams of butter and sugar and about three tablespoons of golden syrup. So I'm going to just mix them now. You can put them in a food processor, but just when you're mixing them, be careful that you don't overmix because you don't want the oats to lose their shape. So once you've mixed that all together, you want to either grease or put greaseproof paper into a baking tin and spoon your mixture in and then flatten it down so that it goes all the way into all of the corners. So I'm going to add a little bit of demerara sugar, just to add a little bit of crunch to the top, but you can add absolutely anything. You could add various fruit, coconut, um, or even some chocolate in there just to make it your own. So you want to put it into the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Hello and welcome to another episode of COVID Cooking. This week we'll be doing a no-bake strawberry cheesecake. So the first thing you want to do is line a uh, 20 or 23 centimetre uh, round baking tin. Uh, once you've done that, you want to go and grab some digestives and you want to crush 250 grams of these um, in a food bag. So once you've got them all into a food bag, you want to crush it into a fine breadcrumb. You can use a rolling pin, use your hands, or just use anything you find in your kitchen. Uh, you can get it down to a nice fine breadcrumb. So the next step after getting uh, the breadcrumbs is you want to get 100 grams of butter and melt it in the microwave. You're then going to pour that butter over these breadcrumbs in a bowl. Okay, so grab the breadcrumbs and you want to pop these into the bowl and then grab your melted butter and pour this into the breadcrumbs. So once it's fully coated, all the breadcrumbs are coated in the butter, I'm going to put it straight into the baking tin at the bottom and press it down to get a nice solid base. So once it's all been pressed down, you want to pop it in the fridge for up to an hour just to make sure it solidifies and cools down properly and then you can get on to the next stage. Okay, so just before that comes out of the fridge, you want to grab 600 grams of cream cheese, uh, a little bit of vanilla extract and 100 grams of icing sugar and beat them all together in a bowl. So just beat that until it's smooth. You want to make sure there's a nice um, creamy consistency there. There's no lumps. So once that's smooth and all combined, you then want to add some double cream. And then grab your cream cheese mixture and you want to spoon it onto the biscuit base, starting from the outside on the edges and working your way inwards, making sure there's no bubbles. So it really is that easy. All you've got to do now is pop it in the fridge overnight and then you can decorate it the next day. So I'll grab some strawberries and just pop these over the top. So that's the last episode of COVID cooking for this season. Hopefully we don't have to make another one. But from us here at LSU TV, we hope to see you again soon.